all of you guys are here. And I can't wait to share more about what Sarah loves in the kitchen from Pampered Chef. Um, like I said, I have been buying Pampered Chef for over 20 years now. Um, I've been a consultant for almost 18. And um, there's a reason why I joined. I love the products. I love being able to help others save money um, with our products that are going to last for years. So when I was getting ready to join Pampered Chef, um, this was something that came in our consultant kit. It's our garlic press. I had bought one a couple of months before from Walmart and um, I was like, I don't want to pay that money for a garlic press. No way. I'm going to go and buy a $4 one from Walmart couple months after buying it the mesh here in the front came out I had to peel the garlic before I even put it in the hopper like how does that save time or effort it doesn't so I actually have my original pampered chef um, garlic press but pampered chef redesigned a little bit so I use this one um, this still looks virtually brand new and I've had it for quite some time so we have a little tool that hides right in here that helps you to clear out the, so your fingers don't stink like garlic. You don't have to fish out the peel. Um, but you put the peel in the hopper and squeeze. And you can even do quite large cloves of garlic with this. So handy, dishwasher safe. Watch this, might land in your garbage disposal if you have one. Um, if you forget about it in your dishwasher and they get a little mangled. We do have replacement parts though, so we can get it fixed up for you. Garlic press, you want to have something that's good quality. Now, sometimes a recipe like for our blender calls for you just peeling the garlic. This little garlic peeler, all you have to do is roll like this and it peels, the clove comes out and the peel sticks to the outside, inside of the garlic peeler. So that way, again, no stinky hands. And I hate having to slam it down with my knife I'm always worried about cutting myself. So you don't even have to worry about that. Your kids can help you then, right? Now, if your hands ever do stink like garlic, make sure you just touch something that's actual stainless steel um, that will help to remove the smell. You can also use some lemon. That does help too. All right. Now, I love our scraper collection. They're made of silicone. They're one mold. And they are super durable. I actually use the ones that look here like a spoon as a spoon to serve things sometimes. These get all of the batter out of the bowl. So maybe you are clearing it out for the kids and we'll have some leftover. And you'll be like, ah, sorry, none's left. Have them look in the bowl. You have some hiding in here for yourself, right? Um, makes it so fun, so easy. These things, if they do start to stain, pop them out in the sun for like the day and flip them over, it'll bleach them back to normal. That way you don't have to use bleach or anything, then you just run them through the dishwasher. Um, the only thing that will, I've ever had ruin these is if you use them to scrape things out of cans that are not opened with our Smooth Edge can opener. So keep an eye on that. We do have, um, oh, and I'm missing my mini um, regular scraper, but we have six scrapers and I love them all. They are going to last you for many, 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 many years. Um, I have a lot of customers who have had theirs for 15 or 20 years. And that's why the value, you end up saving so much money being able to do it, not having to replace it all the time, right? You want a good quality. Same with our Smooth Edge can opener. You're going to open cans this way, and both edges, sides of your lid are smooth. So you turn it, it locks in the place, goes around the can, Unlock it, pinch it with the sides, pull up. No more having to worry about bacteria from the lid falling in. No more cutting fingers, no more ruining your spatulas, anything like that. We have a wide variety of other utensils um, that are nylon or silicone coated um, that are safe for any non-stick cookware that you might use. Um, and we'll get to cookware later. So you guys gotta make sure you stay tuned. Now, food chopper. We have a food chopper and a food processor. Both don't need electric, so you're ready for the zombie apocalypse, hurricanes, whatever it is. You know, maybe the RV, camping, stuff like that. All right, so it does come apart. It has rotating blades to help for even chopping. You're gonna undo this, pop it here, pop it here. It goes in the top rack of the dishwasher, super easy. You don't have to worry about it taking forever to clean. 
and don't have to worry about food getting stuck up in there and molding and getting all gross because we don't want that, right? We want things easy to use, easy to clean. Your kids can do this. A lot of people like to say this is their mood meter. You can really push down hard on this without it damaging it. So really angry, you're gonna maybe have finely, finely, finely chopped onions. But no more crying for onions either, right? So cool, guys. Now, maybe you want to mix things up. Get it? Um, we do have a variety of batter bowls. Um, these actually have markings on them where that way they're not going to rub off. You're not going to be going, what am I at? You're going to know for the life of the batter bowl. These are actually oven safe, so you can make some amazing cakes in them. Um, even our smaller preckles that we have a set of six, one cup, we have a set of um, three, two cup instead of two, three cup that you can pop in the oven for custards, mini cakes, whatever you want. You can use them just to mix. You can pop them in the microwave. You can even store leftovers, right? You have these handles to make it easy for storing. So those, these have been around a long time. I love that we have these. We also have these stainless steel mixing bowls that have a silicone bottom that are non-stick. These things are over 10 years old. You guys, they look brand new. We don't even have the same logo anymore. And I'm throwing things. Um, see, anybody can do this job. So, I love that these have the thumb holes. It makes for easy mixing. Um, we have three different sizes. Um, that, that I dropped is our two-quart one. This one is a four-quart. And then this one is a six quart so you can do lots of cookies cakes batters and other stuff with it um all right guys i can't wait to share even more with you i am just so glad that you guys are listening to me um and letting me share some of my favorite tools just super quick and easy things and i can't wait to hear what you love and what you have below so make sure you comment and let me know and let me know what you might use any of these for or if you have any questions we'll see you soon Bye.